Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tamara the Paper and Pen Girl. And in this video, which is part two of my page marker um, video, I'm going to share with you uh, just quickly how I put the rest of these stickers on here. <laughs> this one is halfway done already because I needed to do the most tedious one first or else we'd be here for 45 minutes. This one is already done and laminated, so we need to cut and punch. And this one is in, in need of laminating. I'm going to put those to the side and share with you um, the laminating pouch, etc., that I'm using. But before that, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful that you have cho chosen to click on the link to view my video. Please give this video a thumbs up. In the comment down below, leave me a comment. Um, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button two times so that you can be notified of when I post up new videos. If you are returning to my video, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for continuing to come and click on the link and view the video. Uh, for new people, once you, once you subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know you subscribe so I can say hello. Okay. So I use the 5ml pouches, laminating pouches, and these are by Scotch. My laminator is right up there, so I don't have a lot of space here to work with. Um, these pouches comes 100 in a pack. I will leave a link in the description down below for the 5ml and the 3ml pouches. Um, as I said, um, Previously, I find that the 5 ml pouches does allow for my page markers to be sturdier, to be, uh, you know, firmer for when I'm holding and pulling up the pages. It's stronger. But you can use a 3 ml if you so choose to. Um, this is what the sheet looks like. It's just one whole complete sheet. It does have a open end that you insert your document into and a closed end. The closed end does have this little already sealed lip. And so, you know, that helps your document to have a nice shape. It does also have rounded edges on it, okay? What I've done is I have cut the sheet into four pieces. Let me share with you the measurement of those four pieces so you will know as well. Each one of these four pieces, let me grab this one, is going to be about, and this is estimated, right? Um, this is five and three fourths about, and then you can do that by four and a half. Um, give or take, but give or take because of that uh, clear sealed end that comes on it as well. So make sure you do that. Now let's get to some particulars about sticking your stickers on. It is much easier to make your bookmark um, page marker when you're using the pieces that come apart. Okay, this is from, of course, the same laminating sheet. Um, two of the end pieces are going to be just like this. So basically this section that does that opens up when you cut it and you cut here, these two pieces are going to completely open. But the other piece is sealed on this end, so two of them are going to be sealed on the end. This is so much easier because you can take this off and make your markers. Um, the other piece, however, is a little bit more dramatic <laughs> and harder to use because you have to try to keep this part open, keep it from flipping up um, when you're trying to put your stickers in there. So you've got to be careful. I'm using just a paper clip to paper clip this down for this video. Um, I uh, would suggest to you, though, not to use a paper clip to clip this down, but instead to tape both pieces. I mean like tape here to the um, down. So you can probably tape this side, tape this side down and tape also these two ends. So that way it's not going to move. It's going to stay still and you're able to do what you need to do properly. So uh, we're gonna try to see how it works out for this video. 
All right, um, let me grab my sheet. This is the rest of the sticker that's left on my sheet. And it was like that. Oop. So that's how this was. And so that's how I want this to end up looking. So we're gonna do this. Um, the Boss Babe, of course, that section is going to be right on top. Um, this is where I'm going to be able to see what uh, tab this is and know which section, which is my daily section I'm turning to. So I want to get this there. When you're placing down your stickers, you want to try to make sure that you're not um, getting dust and things like that on there. Um, because particles that you get on your the inside of your laminating sheet might actually stay on the inside of your laminating sheet. So you want to be careful of that. Okay, so let's take this piece off. And is anything coming with it? No. When you take them off of your um, wax paper, please know that sometimes it's not going to end up back in the same exact spot that you had them in and so you gotta also be be mindful of that because you're now you know having to deal with a totally different um as a matter of fact let me redo that let's do this way so you're having to deal with something else so it might not be the same let me put that there Okay, um, be careful not to put things too close to the edge as well, um, because if you put it too close to the edge, then you are going to not have enough of a closure and you're going to let air in. And I'm going to share uh, something with you when I'm finished with this that will show you exactly what I mean. All right, so goals, let's pick this goals off. And this was one sticker that said make smart goals. And I just picked off, I cut it in, in the three sections. Okay. Okay, so because of where that is, if I put this here, I may not have enough space. So let me go down a little bit. And or just cut this right here. Let's cut that piece off. So that way it's not so close to the end because it's clear anyway. So goals, perfect. Okay, I like that. Oh yes, I like that. I like that. So in the future, I'm gonna try to see if I can make all of my um, stickers kind of do exactly what this just did. <laughs> So now, since it did that, I'm gonna move this. Cause that's a great um, way for me to be able to see exactly where this floral sticker needs to be. Make sure that that's lined up. Cause it, it'll be way too off and my brain does not do that. We don't do that. Okay, not too close to the edge. Okay, I think I like it right there. Make smart. And this would be right here. Mm -hmm. And then my goals, pull that up. And that looks good. Does it look good? That looks good. There we go. So make smart goals. Perfect. Now I have two more pieces left, which is this heart. These two hearts and those two hearts were right on the side here. And at this point, you can add anything else that you want that you think, okay, maybe this is missing, that's missing. You can add anything else that you want. You can even add it after you've done, you're finished 
with uh, laminating everything later on, if you decide that you want to add something, you're able to do that as well. You can just put it on top of the laminating pouch. Um, I usually do like if I'm putting rhinestones, then I will do that. Okay, so this is perfect. This is perfect to me. Here we go. And as a matter of fact, if I cut that off, which I might do then, and I cut that in half, I could probably even use this other side to make another one. So let's take this off. Cause it's not needed. Mm, then what I'll do. Okay, so we're pulling that up again because I'm gonna put it down before I cut it off. Let's make sure. You know, maybe we can do that. Oh yeah, oh yep. Was someone yelling at me to turn it around? Is that why that happened? <laughs> Was one of you all yelling at me to turn it around? Let me know who it was in the comment down below. I feel like somebody was yelling at me. Turn that, turn that around. I like that. I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do it one, two, three. So we're going to have three holes. Perfect. So no, we can't cut it to do anything else with it. One, two, three holes. Okay, so this is great. So we're ready to laminate, y'all. We are ready to laminate. And like I said, this is a time where you can either do the same thing, which is sleep on these and wait overnight and see if that's something that you like. Of course, I do have one more. This is what the other one ended up looking like. But with, excepting for this, this is not going to stay. It was going to be on the, this one, and I replaced it with something else. It's this sticker right here. So this, bam, does not stay. There we go. All right, let's bring the laminator. We want to be careful not to have stickers close to the edges because if a sticker, a glitter, things like that get inside of it and it doesn't seal right, it's going to end up being like this. Air is going to end up coming into it and eventually it's going to uh, puff up. And you don't want that to happen. I don't know if you can see the uh, what's inside, but that's what will happen. And we don't want that. This is, everything else is beautiful, but we don't want that. All right, so let's bring this laminator over. This laminator I did get from Walmart. I do believe that they're on Amazon as well, so I will link that. Um, I do have it on my five mil setting. I do have that there. And... Hold on, so this one has the closed end. And so the closed end is gonna go in first. Okay, just trying to make sure that it's clean. So let's put it in, closed end first. All right, and it feeds itself in and then you're gonna see it come out. coming and the reason I um, put it on the sheet is so that I know kind of really what it's going to look like you know this is going to be on the end so I know what it's going to be look looking like when it's on the sheet on the weekly yep because I need to know these things I need to know these things okay so we're gonna do this next one this one is the open one so I'm going to put the side that has the least amount of decor first just in case anything happened and I need to stop this thing and eject it and take it out mm-hmm you're not gonna eat up my stickers mm -mm. I only have the one you ain't getting it so one two three here it comes and I will be putting this back through. You know what? Let me run this one through for you. Let me see if it's going to help to close that up. Um, I will be putting back the these through the laminator once I cut and punch. Okay, it's going through. Okay. 
okay so it's temporarily fixed it I don't know if you can see that at all but it's temporarily fixed the issue but uh, sooner or later it's gonna it's gonna come back out <sighs> all right perfect so let us cut these and punch them let me get the planner and where is my punch I have this punch that we can use you also have this punch that you can use these are all from Walmart and then I'm gonna grab my happy planner punch uh, as well let me grab that and I'll be right back with y'all mm -hmm. and I want to grab that happy planner punch um, oh man, yeah, so we all know the drama that goes on with these Happy Planner punches. We really do. But we're going to try and see if I can use that with this because of the 5 ml. If not, we're just going to do something else. Okay, so I have my page. Let's try this first one. Where's my cutter? Because I cannot cut a straight line, so we're not going to trust that. We're not going to... We are not going to trust that. Okay. And so for this one, I know that I'm actually cutting it slightly below this. I want to make sure that my line is still going to be sealed. So I'm just cutting it slightly below that. And if you want to double check, triple check, where you need to cut it you can just match this up and you can see okay yep i need to make sure that it's cut around there all right uh you can see that my line was a little bit off which is okay still and that's um, I don't want to do too much more. See if you can focus in. If you can see, that's pretty close. There you go. That's pretty close to this one. I don't want it opening up. And so, no. Now I'm going to punch. And the punch would be one, two, three. Those are the three that I want. One, two, three. And then we're going to cut it straight up here. Let's cut there for now. And let's see if we can punch it. If it does not work and my punch goes crazy, uh, I'm gonna revert back to um I'm gonna revert back to using a regular hole punch. Okay. And I'll try to go maybe there. Well, let me see how it is from the top. That would be top for the classic, and we can do that. We could punch it from the classic line. Or this one right here, I think, is the mini line. Yeah, let's do that. All right, it did it. It did it, it punched it, I'm happy. I am quite happy about that. And for cutting it now, um, it's as simple as just forming whatever the shape is that you want it to form. You just, like I said, have to be careful not to go too close. Don't go too close to any of the edges. But I'm just following the flow of it. And it's as simple as that. just kind of follow the flow and that's done there I could if I wanted to cut out this right here but for now I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave that for a minute and so this one um, is not the first one this one is the second one that will be in the middle mm -hmm. so this goes here 
And let's close this and see how it looks. All right, everybody, let me see. Get you to focus. So that's how it looks in here. And closed, that's what you would see. I think that's pretty cute. I think that is pretty cute. That's it, as easy as opening. You find it, open. Okay, so the next one, which is the plan, I'm gonna cut this. I like, I like. Okay, so that will be the first one, which would be into this section right here. So we're gonna repeat the same exact steps. And I know this video is a little bit long, y'all. Please forgive me, but I just wanna make sure you got it. Like, you got it. We're gonna cut underneath. Okay. And a little bit on this. gonna punch and when I'm not explaining anything it really does take uh, less time I do it for the mini planner size okay it punched it well it punched it well and I think that's also because it's clear all right so it punched it well and now I'm just gonna kinda cut around. And that is what I'm gonna do for this one. And bring the planner. Goes into the first section. And that's how it looks in the first section. Close it. And that's how two of them look in there. Let's open. So we have the plan and then we have this one right next to it. So this one's a little bit higher. I can cut a little bit of this off. So maybe get a little bit closer here. Okay. There we go. All right, and there we go. So I know I have monthly, and I know I have weekly, and then the other two I will do here, but I'm gonna do those two off camera. Oh my gosh, we're done. We are done. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm gonna run these two back through the laminator because I've already cut them. And I wanna make sure that they are Still secure, so I'm just gonna run them back through the laminator, y'all. Okay. Come on out. I wanna thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below for me. Um, follow me on Instagram. Send me the pictures if you decide that you wanna make some. I'm going to be making some for my uh, classic size planner over the next few days. So be on the lookout for those as well. Those I do uh, full size, full sheets. Um, and I'm excited about doing those. So this is what we end up with. Yay! Let me know if you like it down below in the comment. What you think I might have been able to do a little bit differently um, with making these. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more just so that I have some options. And I will post up what the those options are on Instagram. I will see you all on the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.